Hi guys, it's Chris with George Shark. A lot of you guys should know the application called SetCPO. If you don't, and that means you probably don't have a rooted phone. But this this specific video is gonna be more for people who have, you know, gone out of the way that you know hack into the phone and get root access, and especially those of you who like to overclock your processors. Uh, this allows you to manage your processor speed based on battery and different profiles. And if you know you've got a kernel flash on your phone that allows you to overclock it past what you originally were supposed to be able to do, well set CPU does an amazing job at doing that as well. It's supported for almost every device I've seen out there and it's had rave reviews ever since it first hit XDA so you can find that in the Android market and uh, we'll try and blow up your phone with it. As you can see here on the desktop I've already got the widget set here. Um, you can always go in and open up by the application or you can click directly on the widget. Uh, I'll talk more about the widget in a moment. When you first open it up, you see a general profile, which is what is enabled if any of these profiles aren't set. We'll get to this profile in a moment. But first, if you go to menu and device selection, you can either pick auto detect speeds, which will you know, pick the best speeds for your phone, or if you just feel like using a, a regular frequency set, here's all of the devices that are there, and even your own custom frequencies. Now, this is a little harder than it sounds, you actually have to put a, a setcpu.txt, a text file, um, either on your SD card or system SD or data local, and it's placed in sorum and kilohertz, but uh, you really want to know what you're doing before you start messing with that. But for the most part, you should really just use all the text speeds. As you notice, you know, it, it gives you right speeds, you know, for a stock. Uh, next is one, it would show, Let's see if I can get it there, point nine. I don't even know if I have that frequency, yeah, I don't. Uh, 998, whereas this is a overclocked ROM, so our uh, kernel is not able to do uh, 1113. When you go to profiles, you can enable these and add a profile. Just to give you a general overview of what a profile is. The condition is what has to happen in order to trigger that specific profile. You have whether it's charging full, charging specifically on AC or full, charging on USB or full, screen off, battery below a certain percentage, and temperature above a certain percentage. One th cool thing about temperature is you have audible warning. As you can see here on the desktop, I've already got the widget set here. Um, you can always go in and open it up by the application or you can click directly on the widget. Uh, I'll talk more about the widget in a moment. When you first, as you can see here on the desktop, I've already got the widget set here. Um, you can always go in and open up by the application or you can click priority. If something has a higher priority and two things happen at the same time, they conflict, whichever has the higher. As you can see here on the desktop, I've already got the widget set here. Um, you can always go in and open up by the application or you can click. Uh, this is stuff I don't mess with and you really don't need to mess with unless you have a specific purpose with it. So I have no clue how to use this section and I was actually told by a developer not to unless I have a specific reason to do so. Um, info gives you a, a ton of information about your phone. Uh, you know, your kernel, battery temp, CPU, CPU frequency, a processor. As you can see here on the desktop, I've already got the widget set here. Um, you can always go in and open up by the application or you can click directly on the widget. Uh, I'll talk more about the widget in a moment. When you first open it up, you see a general profile, which is what is enabled if any of these profiles aren't set. We'll get to this profile in a moment. But first, if you get a menu, and device selection, you can either pick auto detect speeds, which will you know pick the best speeds for your phone, or if you just feel like using a, a regular frequency set. As you can see here on the desktop, I've already got the widget set here. Um, you can always go in and open it up by the application, or you can as you can see here on the desktop, I've already got the widget set here. Um, you can always go in and open it up by the application, or you can click directly on the widget. Uh, I'll talk more about the widget in a moment. When you first open it up, you see a general profile, which is what is enabled if any of these profiles aren't set. We'll get to this profile in a moment. But first, if you go to menu and device selection, you can either pick auto detect speeds, which will you know pick the best speeds for your phone, or if you just feel like using a, a regular frequency set, here's all of the devices that are there, and even your own custom frequencies. Now this is a little harder than it sounds, you actually have to put a, a set CPU.txt, a text file, um, either on your SD card or system SD or data local, and it's placed in sorum and kilohertz, but uh, 
you really want to know what you're doing before you start messing with that. All right, guys, so that was set CPU. As you see, it's really easy to use. It's pretty straightforward. It's got a beautiful looking widget, and it allows you to do everything you want to do as far as controlling your CPU speeds. So it, it's basic, it's, it's easy, and you, you just can't beat it.